By comparing microchips with neurons, we can better understand both computation and thinking. So how are the microchips in our computers like neurons in our brain? Are they the same? Increasingly, the neurobiological literature says no. In digital, the relationship between inputs and outputs is fixed. The possible inputs are very limited and known. The output is also known. The outputs to this digital logic gate will always follow this simple table. If it doesn't, the computation fails for this gate. A neuron is often compared to digital logic where synaptic inputs are interpreted as digital inputs. Perhaps, but this is where the similarities end. Whether or not a neuron fires is not knowable like the simple table for the digital logic gate. Each neuron is unique like a fingerprint, unlike digital where each circuit functions predictably. Furthermore, whether a neuron fires is related to many changing environmental factors, including but not limited to genetic expression of cell morphology and ion channel density, extracellular ionic concentrations such as calcium, local field potential from electromagnetic activity of surrounding cells. There are many, many more factors that determine the behavior of any one neuron. The point is that each of these factors contribute to how a neuron functions at every moment. A neuron's behavior and physical composition are changed by their environment, just like you are. Digital circuits in microchips, however, are closed systems by design. Their behavior and composition are not affected by their environment. Understanding these differences helps to better understand microchips and brains, computation, and thought. With this understanding, you can help improve both. <laughs>